So in this video, I have to beat the Zombies Easter Egg Challenge. Now you might be thinking, Renzaru, what does this actually mean? Well, you see, Discord member William J proposed a really cool Zombies Challenge, where basically I have to beat an Easter Egg on the map where the first letters spell out the word Zombies. So basically, like, for the first map, I could have done Zetsubo no Shima or Zombies in Spaceland, and I have to do that for each letter of the word Zombies until the word Zombies is fully spelled out. So basically, we have seven Easter Eggs that I have to beat in this video, and you know, yeah, without wasting any more time, you know, subscribe to the channel, and without wasting any more time, let's jump into the first letter of this video, which is the letter Z. Right then, so start Starting off this video with the letter Z, you know, that is the first letter in the word zombies, you know, I, I, that's crazy, I know. But yeah, my options were pretty limited here. I pretty much either had Zetsubo no Shima, which let's be honest, like no one wants to watch or see or do, you know, anything like that. Or we had Zombies in Spaceland. Now for me, Zombies in Spaceland is like such an underrated map. Like Infinite Warfare as a whole, it's just an underrated game. So, you know, which map I was going to play was pretty obvious. Plus this literally has zombies in the name, so a little bit quirky like that. But yeah, let's start making a move. This Easter egg really isn't that difficult. You know, it's nice, it's short, it's simple, it's sweet. It's just a fun time. Also, I am doing it on director's cut because to me it's a lot more fun you know just like speed run through the entire map but yeah, the first step is we need to build the seti com so here's actually one of the pieces right here and next up i want to go hit the box because we need to try and get one of the wonder weapons because if we don't get one we're gonna have a really hard time so we can also pick up the boom box which is right here and let's get hit in on the mystery box or the magic wheel so what are we gonna get we got the stallion 44 not quite what i want i got the kbar again not really what i want but you know what it's fine apparently if you shoot the magic wheel you actually get worse weapons i don't know how true this is i mean i just got the trek 50 so you know you will try it maybe it'll give me something good and we got the titan okay i'm just gonna keep shooting around i'm gonna test this little theory mythbusters the raw uh not the best things in the world or and it moved you're actually joking me you know what? it's fine not even worried about it okay i don't see the calculator over here i think it's on one of those benches that it spawns on so my guess then is the calculator which is like the final part for the city com probably in the arcade so i can get that later on now let's take this portal and open up pack a punch oh the mystery box is just over there all right we'll come back for it let's just open up the rest of the map real quick and then whatever point i've got left over we'll hit the mystery box for i'm pretty sure like most speedruns on this map, if they don't get the Wonder Weapon, they just reset. So yeah, let's go ahead and activate this portal here as well. Make our way back to spawn. There we go. Open up through here. Might as well just do the arcade one next. So I get that. And on the portal. Come on, there we go. Any second now. And I'm also going to come up here and pretty sure the calculator is here. So there we go. Perfect. So let's go back to spawn. Bro, you are. I, I got trolled. I don't believe that just happened. <laughs> that is outrageous. You know what? I'm not even going for it. I'm upset now. I'm grumpy. All right, let's just turn the power on over here instead and go do uh, the teleport that's just there. This map is honestly so good. Like, I think I'd rather play Spaceland over like some of the more popular like Treyarch maps. I I'd definitely play this over like The Rising Drag. It's such a more chilled out experience in my opinion. It's so much more fun. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the rest of my points probably just on the mystery box because I am in desperate need here to get a wonder weapon. So come on game, please give me what I need. The S Ravage is not what I need. It's not looking great for me. Okay, this has gone all these so far. Uh, let's just give David Hasselhoff all of the parts of the city comp. Now honestly, what I'm thinking is maybe I'm punching the Kendall. It's going to mean we have less hit on the box, but at least then we can kind of start on the city comp defense steps. We'll just see what happens. Oh, bro, we literally got the shredder. It's actually too easy. All right, perfect. That actually went so well. Right, so let's end the round. Uh, I'm not too sure how long it takes Hasselhoff to create the SETI com. I'm pretty sure it was one uh, round, but I could be wrong. I definitely gave it to him, right? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, okay, he's ready. I was getting ready to like go through some rounds, but I suppose he just said like, nah, come back. What a guy. All right, what's good, David? Ask me that. Okay, so now we need to go find the areas where we can place it down. So some of these, right, are extremely difficult to survive in. I haven't got enough money. Are you joking? I'm broke. Okay, so you can't place it down here. Can't place it down here. There is one area where it's always going to be. Like, at least once out of these three, like, defense steps. But that one's really easy. So, I'm hoping it's going to be our last one. We found our first one here. Uh, this one is quite a hard area to survive in. I won't lie. But we do have the trap. We've got the Kendalls, which is going to make this a lot easier. And it's only for a minute anyway. So, in a way, I am glad we can get one of the hard ones out of the way straight away. I said a lot of a ways there in that sentence. But, yeah, basically, getting this one first isn't actually that bad. So, let's just focus up here. We only have 24 seconds left to go. Come on. Come on. 10 seconds. Not had to use my Wonder Weapon yet, which is quite nice. Realistically, Kendalls here are going to kind of be our carry like without these we would just struggle which is why i kind of wish I put on a fate and fortune card called like coupon clipper instead of like hide and seek because basically what that does is your next purchase is completely free so i could have double pack a bunch of these kendals for fifteen thousand, and that basically has like more ammo and i think it's stronger i'm not 200 sure though so, yeah i mean either way we'll work with what we got at the end of the round go ahead and try and find the next area this is where we're kind of hoping for some of the easier ones oh my god then we proceed to get a really difficult one you're joking uh okay well i mean we'll see how this goes i'm gonna try and use my wonder weapon for a good chunk of this at the start it's not as difficult and then we're gonna switch my candles when it starts to pick up a bit all this like getting any wonder weapon is kind of like good so i'm gonna switch my candles i think uh, but yeah i think like the discord might be the best one for this step i'm not 100 sure but you really only need the wonder weapon for like the last step anyways and for killing the alien yeah, okay we've got 40 seconds left anyways this was a minute and a half by the way so our next one i think goes up to two minutes which is gonna be really difficult so we're kind of hoping for an easy one i think it is gonna be the super duper easy one the super duper there you know that's how you know it's gonna be super easy yeah okay we should be fine here we've got 17 seconds left we still got a good chunk of my 
black kendall ammo left so not a risk of running out of ammo here which is usually the problem whenever i play is that i just run out of ammo but honestly we're not actually doing too bad we're kind of cooking so yeah once again we just need to end the round then we can quickly do our final city com defense step and then we should be on our way to the boss fight what do we got we got the repulsa not quite well one black hole grenade is that good i don't know there's a portal generator i don't know what that means yo i'm too curious i want to find out what it does to tactical i want to save it for the city com defense step although i want to use it now just to find out what it does but i actually don't know black hole grenade is pretty much just like a burst device i have no idea what this one does weird it's a tactical i don't know we'll, we'll find out now let's just head down here then if my youtube comments are right it should be where we have to place it yeah, okay it is perfect all right so this one is two minutes which is going to be a little bit difficult but it's definitely one of the easiest ones so all we've got to do is we just defend these two hallways but it can roll up on you real fast so we do need to be careful here basically if we can get to like a minute we can just like switch to our candles and just have a really easy time for the rest of it okay so we've got 80 seconds left this is what i mean by the way this is just so easy like literally just defend this hallway occasionally look to the right kill any zombies that show up you might not even need our candles our shredder is actually making work right now hey, look at this bro it's just like destroying the zombies 43 seconds left it's going unbelievably well okay uh, i'm out of ammo i'm gonna switch my candles real quick but like we should be fine because the candles will just carry us oh bro it is actually too easy see i would love to get into speed running this game but like bro some of the players are just so good like I i'm just not here all right well either way we need to go find hasselhoff so where is he at he's still just chilling here yeah he is all right, so i've given back the city comm so all we gotta do now is just end the round until he just says that we're ready so i actually perfect nuke also i still know what this like teleport grenade thing does so i'm just gonna pop it i, I completely messed up there okay let's go perfect why is the button to throw it why is the button to throw it i'm actually having to go check mouse five okay there we go so what's this do oh it just takes you back to spawn okay kind of pointless i won't lie you know whatever not even a problem just go ahead and buy this black ball grenade can you only carry one or can you carry multiple no you can only have the one kind of sucks but whatever hopefully hasselhoff is ready for us this round so we can just get our seti calm off not really getting the seti calm anymore we're actually getting like i don't know what they're called they're like little like music pads also the fact that i can still see the city com in the bottom right is a little bit scary <laughs> i thought when you give it the house off it goes away but i mean i guess we'll see i need to find him first i actually have no idea where he's at could be up by polar peak but is there even one at polar peak i actually can't remember where is he at <laughs> i actually have no idea oh he's here okay well he's not ready anyway so let's go ahead and end the round again okay there we go house off are you ready there we go perfect so we're pretty much at the boss fight now so let's go ahead and place all of these down what i want to do is i actually want to put this evade card and so that is going to be really useful for like mobility and stuff like that so here we go so we got red blue green and yellow oh my god bro i am so dumb oh there goes our evade card <laughs> so let's go thank you game oh my god okay, we've got green gonna do it again or oh my god okay we've messed up this is what i get for trying to commentate right, i'm just gonna leave it and hopefully i shouldn't get punished right but yeah basically we have red blue green and yellow i wrote it down in paint so i shouldn't forget it so all i gotta do is just memorize the code so let's not mess this up okay so we got red blue yellow green okay so red blue over here hit yellow and all i gotta do is just hit this one over here for green there we go nice all right so there's one of them done and i'm pretty sure we just gotta do that like two more times and then we should be good okay, so we've got yellow blue red and then green okay not too bad so yellow blue let's just circle around red and then hit this one for green there we go oh my god we get it okay we got it that's two out of three so we literally have to just do this one more time see as long as i just keep training around not killing we should be good so we've got blue green yellow red all right here we go so blue green yellow and then we just gotta hit red here um there we go i think that's it yeah we go nice so i'm pretty sure now we're just gonna get a bunch of clowns which you know aren't very hard our candles are just actually wiping them out of existence let's see you later clowns it's okay, so now we're just waiting for the aliens so i do have a plan here we go so pop him for the ammo then we just go in on him that should kill him maybe no we did get him down though but melee is back oh my god don't die please please don't die okay you know what we got one that's all that matters he should come down again in a second yeah there we go so there we go hit the battery thing out of his back and literally now i think we just kill him like getting that early hit on him was actually kind of big but all we gotta do now is just kill him obviously without infinite ammo is a little bit harder he looks like he's really low he's already in red okay bro bro he's dead we've actually got him dead to right so i see you later alien perfect all right so that's the boss fight done so all we gotta do now is just shoot these things here and try and time it for when it's above the teleporter, which i think is about to go over it now oh imagine this hits right now it's actually gonna be huge oh my god it's actually too easy oh don't die please but there we go boys so just like that i'm pretty sure that's the zombies in space on easter egg complete just come over here pick up the soul key and the alien fuse and there we go i don't know why they're running around without any heads on this is like actually weird bro, has anyone ever seen this before hello <laughs> where's your heads bro um okay i've never seen this before where they're like on fire without any heads on very nice stuff thank you game oh, that is so weird okay you know what whatever new easter egg crown but yeah there we go boys so that is the zombies in space on easter egg done and mark off the letter z very nice stuff so oh i just spilled my kind of coke oh my god all right i need to clean this up all right let's just move on to the next layer all right then so on to the letter o now you might have thought you know jake why aren't you doing origins but you see because honestly i've overdone origins okay i don't really like the easter egg i think it's a little bit boring especially on solo so you know if you want to see me do the origins easter egg on bo2 i've got plenty of other videos where i do it okay so instead right we're going back to an easter egg that i've actually not done in a while which is the outbreak easter egg <laughs> advanced warfare right not the cold war one the original 
original outbreak. Now, as much as I don't really like this game, I don't actually mind this Easter egg. It's not super difficult. It's not like super easy at the same time. Like it all really kind of depends on how good your luck is. You know, I feel like I need my monthly reminder for why this game is just so bad. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing the outbreak Easter egg. So right now, I just need to gather up a load of points. While I was talking, I picked up like this black box that was behind there. I'm going to need that for the very first step. So I'm going to go ahead and buy Exomedic. Because this game's hit detection is not the greatest, I'll be honest. Especially when they start pulling out the EMZs. Honestly, the worst enemy in all the Call of Duty Zombies. Genuinely horrific. A big double points though. Very useful. Especially since one of the things we need is the EM1 out of the mystery box. Which is obviously like entirely luck based. So yeah, I think that's the end of the round. So I'm going to start making a move. I'm going to go this way instead. Usually, I don't really go this way. But I'm pretty sure it's faster to get to everything that I need to get to. You know, English boys. So open up through here. There's the box. We'll come hit that in a bit. And then we'll turn on the power here. And then I think we could just place the box down here. It's a little bit glitchy though. So uh, game, come on, there we go. Actually cruising. Let's turn the power here. Grab ourselves our exosuit. Now what we can do is we can start working towards getting the key cards. So the main part of this Easter egg, right, is getting the four key cards that like our characters are meant to have. Oh, bro, we've got the ASM one. Okay, you know what? I mean? That's not too bad. And then once we have those key cards, we just need to get like 49 key cards that drop from zombies. That's something on the map. And then that's pretty much the Easter egg. It's not difficult at all. But, you know, as you might know, I do enjoy the short Easter eggs. I'm not really a fan of the massively convoluted ones that take like two hours of your life to complete. I like them every now and then, you know, it's like a little treat, but not on the daily. So I thought I should be able to actually get a, a key card real quick. All I need to do is just shoot this like metal rod thing here. I don't take that out of context, but I'll shoot that until it disappears. There we go. And all we gotta do is just exo slam on this. Uh, maybe. Hello. I guess not. Did I do the wrong one. Hold up. No. Um, game, you actually have got me flabbergasted here. Right, let's try it again. So bam. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then just come over here. Start spamming effort. There we go. All right. You see in the bottom left, like the number has gone up. So now it's a one. We've got one of the key cards. So very nice. Now the real question is, do I want to play it risky and just not buy drug? I don't think I need it. It's gonna be my famous last words. I can already see it. But I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna need it to be honest. I'd rather just spend all of my points on the box. Yeah, all right. If we get the EM1 super early, then I won't go for it. And I'll go for Jug, right? But yeah, we didn't get it. So I'm probably just going to spend all the points on the box. Come on, game. Give me that EM1. The RW1. Quite a while one. Also, a lot of people say that you can just stop it on the weapon you want. I don't think it's true, right? On the COD, like, fandom or wiki or whatever it is, people have said it, it's not actually true. So I'm going to believe that, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, bro, are you actually joking me? That's kind of upsetting. Maybe I do need Jug. You know what? I'm going to try it. All right, where's the EM1 at? Yeah, actually, let's just not die since I am one tap. Yeah, I, I might need to buy Jug. I, I honestly might need to. I didn't want to, thought I could be him, but clearly I can't be. I mean, it's fine. It is what it is. It's just going to set us back a few points, but you know, it's not the end of the world. You can live. But my nose is actually so blocked today. I sound like a little nerd. All right, so let me head down here. I'll buy you Oh, exo health, my bad. And we'll just go back to hitting the box. Okay, never mind. The box has moved. Let's go. Oh, and it's an infector run. Okay, that's actually perfect. So what I need to do is I need to get infected. And I need to come over to these buttons here and press them. So there's one of them. Here's the second one. Here's a third one. Oh my god, I actually don't know where the last one is. It's here. Bam. Okay, so what that does is it opens up this here. We can pick up a key, guys. You can see we went up to two. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm literally dead. I'm literally dead. Bro, unless, unless, oh my god, that is criminal what it just did to me there. I would have made it out of that as well if my AK-12 still had ammo in it. I'm not happy game. Okay, well, here's our last quick revive. Yeah, at least we got our second key card. All right. Are we so low on ammo? Guns are actually atrocious. Oh, there we go. So the last two key cards we need to get is the one in like the trash chutes there. And the one you get for the EM1. Oh, let's just keep hitting this. What's this? The SN1. SN6, my bad. You know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to go activate the trash chutes. Just like waste all the ammo I've got. And then just trade out the weapon. So if I remember how to get in here, we need to activate it. Then like let it go. And then we need to activate it again, but actually go in it this time. We should get taken to the trash room. There we go. Perfect. So all we got to do is just shoot the floor and then hope uh, that we pick it up. Could literally just not pick it up, which would be kind of like upsetting. But oh, we got it. Oh, boy, he's perfect. Look at that. Who is this guy? Yeah, that's actually really lucky we got that first try though. So literally all we need now is this EM1. The box is not on my side. This is the BAL 27. Let's go. Not what I want game. The SN6 again. This is uh, not going my way. This Easter egg kind of reminds me of a BO1 Easter egg just because of like the look you need with the box. You know, that isn't a compliment because the Black Ops 1 Easter eggs are actually trash. I am so happy that they moved away from Easter eggs that require you to get something out of the box. I think the last one that I could think of is honestly Revelations because like every map in like BO4 that requires you to have to win the weapon. It's like an upgrade just to get it or like a quest to get it. I think same with Cold War. Yeah, so I think Revelations is literally the last map to do it. Also game, actually please. Oh my god. I won't lie though, I do have a lot of nostalgia for this map. Like even though it's not the best thing in the world, I do hold it near and dear to my heart, but it doesn't mean it's good. I'd say it's like one of the best advanced warfare zombies maps. Either this or like Carrier is probably the best map. But then again, all right, in the same game as Infection, <laughs> it's kind of hard to be disliked. Infection is such a bad map. Honestly, it is so trash. See, I feel like this game could have been good if honestly they just removed the Exo Zombies. The Exo Zombies ruin it. Like, maybe if the weapons were a bit more like balanced, they didn't just fall off if you don't pack a bunch of them. Like, look at this, right? It's round 12. And because I've not been upgrading my weapons, they're just trash. Like, they're so bad. The upgrade system is so bad as well. Like, honestly, just set up like a quest to get pack a bunch and then just make it so you pack a bunch of weapons once. All right, come on. I've got 5,000 points. Surely I've got to get it. The IMR. I'm pretty sure this gun like regenerates bullets. Yeah, look. So, look, if I just 
just like shoot a few shots out and reload my weapon. Look, you'll see in the bottom right, they like regens. I say it's not doing it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look, see? I remember I got this in a one box challenge and I was shitting on the gun. And then I got a comment being like, this is actually the one gun that is really good in a one box challenge because it just regenerates your ammo. I actually did not know that. So nano swarms, honestly, I feel like like the monkey bomb or like the drones are probably better. So I'm not going to take those. Oh, bro, are you joking? We got the cell free cauterizer before this fucking EM1. You are actually joking. And then the mayhem. All right, well, I mean, at least we got two weapons where they're really good, even if I don't upgrade them. This is still like one of the coolest looking wonder weapons in my opinion. Like it looks a little bit goofy. Like I, I don't know why I'm only holding it with one hand, but I don't know. It looks so cool. It's got such a cool design to it. Oh my God, okay, I just got rid of my S12. That is actually such an L. Game, please just give me the EM1. I'm actually begging. Getting the same weapons over and over again. Yeah, look, I'm even going to try and land on it. Oh, bro, there is. Okay, it might actually work, boys. <laughs> See, that's the shit that I want about, bro. Like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Is it true? Is it not true? We need a myth busting Mondays on this. Oh my God. Okay, well, whatever. We got the EM1 finally. I still don't know if I believe this little trick with the mystery box, okay? I think it was a massive coincidence just to make me look like an idiot. However, right, it doesn't even matter, right? We got it. So, all I've got to do is just kill a few of these dogs. There we go. We've got to shoot the mystery box and then hit it. And that's going to give us the final key card. So, there we go. So, now that we've done that, just come over here, talk to this computer. Basically, it kind of tells, like, access denied or whatever. And then, if we start killing zombies and, like, dogs and stuff like that, what should happen is I'll start dropping key cards. And then, once we collect, like, 49, we can move on to the next step. Also, I think I've mentioned this before. You can push these things around. Like, they're so goofy looking. Like, why, why, why can you do this? Oh, look, this thing's coming with me. I'm taking it with me. All right, are you guys dropping key cards, though? Uh, no. Am I missing a step? Or... Oh, no. Okay, there you go. They are dropping them. Of course, by the way, once I get the weapon I need, first time I get a fire sale. A little bit coincidental, don't you think, game? Little rat. This game hates me. Okay, but there you go. Look at all these key cards. I'm picking about 11 now. There is an alternate Easter egg to this, which gets you like the gold trophy or something like that on descent. Because if you didn't know, right, doing these Easter eggs, they give you like an actual trophy in game that you can see. And there's like certain things that you can do, which will get you like a gold version of that trophy, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it shows for everyone in the game, but I think it's cool to actually like see something where it shows what you've done without having to like, go to your achievements or whatever. But yeah, there's like a gold version, right? Which gives you an alternate ending. But you actually do get saved. And all you've got to do, right, is get all 50 key cards while punching. Now, if you don't know why that's a bit of a pain in the ass, I mean, look, I mean, look at this, right? Two, three, all, all hits, bro, for one zombie. And he might not even drop a key card. I don't know if there's a way to cheese it. It's cool if I was. It would be an interesting video, actually, to get all of the gold trophies on the Advanced Warfare, or like all the trophies. Oh my god, this is actually so rough. Oh my god, stay away from me. Over there. Yeah, that could be an interesting video. Getting all the trophies on descent. That's a title it differently, obviously, but if you know, you know. Also, I feel like this is a perfect representation, right, of what I mean. <laughs> like, if you don't pack a bunch of weapons, they just become ultimately shit, bro. Oh my god. Okay, this is kind of squeaky. Don't know if I'm a fan of this. We still kept our jug, though, which is good. Oh, plus I've got Exo Slam, so like, it's actually over. It's just these EMP ones, bro. They actually suck. All right, but what I could do is I could go pack a bunch myself free a few times. I do have like 9,000 points, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that. So you go, right, we got up to Mark. Or give us a cool little reticle. And at least it's one tapping now, which is nice. Okay, let's try not and die here. I do have a drone if I just want to pop that. Yeah, I might just do that, honest. So bam, there we go. Is that going to give me enough of the key cards? Probably not. Oh, hold up. The nuke actually dropped some. Okay, I did not realize that. We only need one more. Did we get it from this guy? Yeah, okay, we got it. Perfect. All right, so maybe wait until the end of the round. I don't know. Basically, right, we need to come over to this computer again. And once again, tell us, like, we don't have enough. And we need to go find, like, a fingerprint scanner. And there's, like, four and, like, only one works as your character. So I think Oz's is, like, all the way over by Jug. Uh, I could be wrong, but worth checking. Yeah, I think this is it here. So yeah, there we go. As you can see, we got into 50. So now I'm pretty sure all we've got to do is talk to our computer again. It's going to say, like, access granted. And then we just need to interact with, like, the exosuit. And then that's pretty much the end of the Easter egg. So I'm going to go through. I don't know. My audio is pretty low. I'm gonna, like, I'm walking open like that. I'm going to assume it works. I mean, I'll know if this is open. It's not open. Okay. What if I just interact with this? Oh, there we go. That opens it now. Basically, this lets you get, like, level 25 on your weapon instead of, like, level 20, which is the max. You still have to have a level 20 weapon. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get to. But just for the shits and giggles, we'll pack up with our weapon two more times. We get to up to level six. And if I come out here, should be a helicopter. There he is. As you can see, there's an orbital drop coming down. It's going to hit the helicopter. Helicopter goes down. See you later, little boy. Just clip through that building. And there's a. <laughs> What a game. But yeah, that is pretty much the Easter egg. There's no ending cutscene. Again, unless you do that secret ending, which I didn't do. So yeah, that is the Outbreak Easter egg complete. Which, you know, marks off the letter O. So let's just go ahead and move on to our next Easter egg. Right now, boys. So onto the letter M. Now, I was going to do Mob of the Dead because, you know, Mob of the Dead is quite an easy Easter egg. Because of a map coming up, which, you know, you probably already guessed. I wanted to do like different games, okay? Instead of just doing like maps from the same game. So we went with Mala because, you know, it's going to be the only Cold War map in this video. And uh, yeah, you know what? It's been a hot minute since I did this Easter egg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to on this rampage inducer for now just so that the early rounds aren't super slow because the early rounds in cold war are actually so bad pretty much every game is is pretty bad during the early rounds to be fair which is actually the one thing i do like about cold war is it gives you the alternative to go like really fast you know it's a bit more risky but what is this channel about a little bit of risk so i'm trying to think how many points we probably need i'm guessing like 12 or 13 thousand would probably comfortably open up the whole map obviously if i get more
review of the Cold War maps, the game would just lag so much. So, I mean, you might be looking at my frames in the top left there going and be like, oh, you know, 140, that's actually nothing. But for me, all right, I'm playing on fully maxed out graphics. I haven't got ray tracing or anything like that because to be honest, I don't really, see, I don't really feel the need to have it on. But, you know, I'm playing on pretty much like fully maxed out graphics and I've got like other stuff on in the background like OBS and Steam, I think it's still open, Discord's open. Oh, like, what's that thing called? Wallpaper Engine, that's it. So for me, all right, well, like 140 frames, whatever, is pretty good. Me being able to get all those new PC parts is all thanks to you guys. So thank you guys all. You know, you guys constantly supporting the channel and, you know, watching the videos. It is actually letting me live. Okay, enough of this. We've got 12,000. I am getting pretty close to death here, which is a little bit scary. Uh, I think we save a zombie, turn off the rampage and do set and just start making a move because going to a decently high round straight from the beginning isn't that bad, to be fair, because I think we need to get around 10 uh, for the Anzi soul that or whatever his name is to spawn in. Okay, we ended the round. You know, I'll just go one more round. Why not? But yeah, we need to part from the Crenzy soul that. I'm just going to call him that now. I don't actually know what his actual name is, but oh my God, don't die. Do not want to use up myself revive this early on. Oh, dude, that's a double point. So that is actually really nice. You know what, boys? One more round has never hurt anybody. I'm getting a bit greedy with the points. This might have been the dumbest idea I've ever had. We are so stacked up though. Like, look how many points we've got. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, this might not have been the best idea in the world. All right, I don't want to end the rounds or anything like that. So let's just kill maybe a few of you. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, okay. So we're already in the round now. So let me just go ahead and turn this off. Very nice. We've got 23,000 points. You know, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy quick revive real quick. Just so you know, we have an extra revive. And I guess let's just make a move. And we'll try and get Packer Munch open up this round. So all we got to do is just kill this Tempest here. So see you later. We got the fuse. And if we head down here, fake do the power switch. And there should be another Tempest down here. There we go. Take you out. And then put that in there. And then that's power on. Okay. So what is good class? Okay. Let's quickly do this. While well, that's doing like its whole big power up move, however it is. Uh, we'll dig up some of these and try and get the satellite thing for Klaus. And we'll also just kill the disciple because bro is actually like a nobody. Just wiped him out. Almost the boss around here. Okay. There's a satellite. I'm trying to think what I want to do next because I could do the bunny Easter egg and maybe get super lucky and get the wonder weapon from that. And if I get that, it's going to save me. I'm do the whole side quest. I try it every time though. And I just never get it. So I'm going to need to be real nice to me and just give me the wonder weapon. So let's pick up that bar. Be sure there's one just down here. So there we go. I'm also going to buy stamina up just so I can run around the map faster because bro, stamina in this game is so OP. Like look how much faster I'm moving. Yeah, let's pick up this part here. And I'm trying to remember where the last like few parts are, but I actually can't remember. I already got this piece here. Oh, actually, I think I do remember. If I just come here, we can pick up this. Is that the last part? Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. So we are going to have like a bit of a lockdown, but we should be fine. Basically, we have like three waves of these zombies that we just need to take out. We have a purple M16. <laughs> I don't think we're going to struggle too much. Oh, there is a mangler. Let's try and not die to that. There you gotta go. There we go. Oh, we got some armor. Nice. What do you think I don't like about this step is that it just takes so long to just like complete. Like the zombies don't just all come at you at once, right? Like a few of them will come at the very end. It's like three or four that come at the end, just like one by one. So annoying. We do have a mimic. See you later. He's gone. Right, is this last stage? Okay, here we go. Then we get to pick between one of three doors. All right, now I want everyone at home to think of the door that it's going to be behind. All right, now you might not think it's going to matter, but trust me, I'm going to feel the overwhelming decision. All right, and then that's the door I'm going to pick. That's how it works. All right, I got that bond with you guys. All right, so here we go. All right, he's going to disappear. Here we go. All right, what door are you guys thinking? I think you guys are thinking door number two. So I think it's going to be behind this one. Uh, and it wasn't. Okay, uh, boys, you guys have let me down. It's so annoying. I don't know which one is behind. I don't think I ever get this. All right, well, to be fair, it's not a problem. Like the Easter egg quest to get the uh, the wonder weapon isn't actually that bad. All it is that the first step is that we need to get Klaus. So they put brain rock on our weapon. Say brain rock, I mean brain rock with a T. All the cranky soldier is here. So just kill him as well real quick. So there we go. Is he going to die? There we go. Okay, and he drops the battery. So I do need that. Okay, so then what I need to do, right, is I need to get a brain rock zombie to come over here and break down this door. So he's going to do that real quick. There we go. That's then going to let me pick up his hands right here. So bam, there we go. And now we can build Klaus. So where's my boy at? Here he is. Let's mend him up. All right, so he's breaking loose. Now I'm pretty sure what we got to do is we need to leave Klaus over here in front of this like locker thing, which he's going to get a batch open because for some reason we couldn't just open it up ourselves. It's random, but here we go. He's going to bash that open for us. That's going to allow us to get the black light. Now we can go around the map. I think like lots of numbers, but what he doesn't like materialize your back away. So yeah, I'm pretty sure our first number is somewhere around here. Uh, where is it? I don't actually remember these spots like off by heart because I'm already a big fan of Cold War when it came out. So I'm going to have to look this up. Oh, here it is. Okay, so 24. Okay, but yeah, there should be another one in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. 26. Okay, so then the final one should just be in this like little like theater room thingy here. Oh, and there it is. Okay, 30. Okay, so then we just need to come over here and these the right things. There's 30, 24, and then 26. So there we go. And then we can pick up our Cerberus. Oh, and we got the woman one. Let's go. What a dub. Okay, that's actually kind of big. So we can now work on some other things. Uh, I'll probably get the headgear first. So all I have to do is like come in here, shoot this radio. Okay, not that one. Uh, that one. No, not that one either. That one. Okay, there we go. Just head down here and shoot that. There we go. So our last part should be up in spawn. But after that, we need to try and get the kind of laser variant so that we can break open a wall. Should have probably had Klaus do it while he was out. But yeah, let's just pick up the headgear here. Or the final part of the headgear, sorry. And then we're probably good just to end the round. Maybe the zombie here could give us the piece we need. No, okay. See, I actually do love this wonder weapon. It's actually really cool. It's got like a real ratchet and clank vibe to it. I don't know if that's just me, but yeah, that's honestly
reminds me of. Yeah, real quick, we need to go call in Klaus. So let's go ahead and grab you. It costs 2,000 points to deploy, by the way. Actual scam. Oh, and there's a piece we need for the variant. So first things first, let's have Klaus come over here and break this wall. So there we go. He's going to go ahead and blast that wall down real quick, even though we have grenades and like C4s that we can pick up or whatever. And then what we've got to do is we've got to shoot this right and it's going to play like the goofiest little animation of like tearing down the wall. So there we go. Actual some Scooby Doo stuff. I always say it whenever I do this Easter egg, but it is like genuinely so low quality. Actually wild. Yeah, I believe all we got to do now uh, is just wait for her to stop talking. Come on, there we go. All right, there we go. So now we just got to pick up all of these canisters real quick. So as soon as the game's going to let me, there we go. One, two, and three. Then we need to pick up one of these end station lures, which it says I can't pick up. Nice. Oh, it's because I got Klaus. Okay. All right, there you go. Klaus has gone anyway. So let's pick this up. So I guess next we can just fill up all the canisters. I've got to try and remember where they all are though. Um, is there one up here? Okay, well, okay, not here. But over here, yeah, okay, there's one here. So let's place that down and we'll throw an end station lure thing down. There you go. It's going to spawn in these tempests. Let's just kill these real quick. So there we go. Oh my god, don't die. See, there we go. Let's pick up this. Um, uh oh. So I kind of forgot about this. There we go. All you gotta do is just like spam uh, escape or whatever it is or pause menu. So we're all good. That was a little bit squeaky though. Did not want to lose my run for a stupid little glitch that definitely should have been patched out actually years ago now. It's actually weird to think this game came out that long ago. How was this game now? It's like four years old, isn't it? It came out in 2020. It's actually wild to think about. Okay, so let's place that in there. So all we gotta do now is just find like two more of those. So where even are they? I actually have no idea. Is there one up here? Uh, no, but I guess what I will do is I'll buy Jug. I'll also buy PhD. Oh, we need to pick up another end station lure. What am I doing, you little silly billy? Oh, okay, there's one here. So let's place that down, throw down the lure, and then we'll kill all of these guys. So one, two, and where's the third one? He is right there. So three. Perfect. Pick up this. And then we'll just quickly take it down to where we need to take it. Because I'm pretty unlucky spawns, I won't even lie. Sometimes you can get one that's like right outside of where we need to go. Like literally like there. But we didn't get too lucky. So we're about a mile away from each one. You know what? It's fine. All right. So far, this run actually isn't going that bad. Not having an awful time. But I do still need to find out where the last one is. My guess is probably not up in spawn but i'm thinking where that like dressing room is just like somewhere around here it's here okay perfect oh i forgot to get another end station lot oh my god why can't i just carry three at once why couldn't i just do that why do you hate me so much game all right for the last time let's pick this up okay so let's throw that down there kill all of these tempers and that should be our final one so i'm trying to think what we actually have to do after this whole step i actually can't remember we might have to pull up the mr Ruff waffles guide now i have to say mr Ruff waffles because i now refuse to use lex's guide after he unfollowed me on twitter all right like we're, we're no longer pals we do not go away like that's what i get for you know asking him not to copy my titles word for word but so yeah that's that all done now we need to get the warhead okay, yeah so we need to upgrade klaus so let me call him in real quick and basically once we upgrade klaus we need to stop the train which is going to give us the key card and it's also going to the warhead so let's just make a start on that real quick so can i just place klaus in here or what's happening oh crazy so that you gotta go oh, actually got destroyed as well all right what's good klaus so i can't remember what he has to do i think he just needs to get like 50 kills or oh i probably had to install it onto him first didn't i oh i'm actually throwing i'm actually throwing oh no there we go um also you're gonna hop in or oh he's just gonna get in oh okay never mind oh i mean i'm not complaining let's just defend klaus for a, for a minute and you know upgrade him be on our way he's a struggle on this quite a bit but it really isn't that bad i don't know how we're struggling oh okay this is how oh my god it ramped up real quick holy okay uh do you actually mind yeah give me my pistol back okay, there we go what is good klaus so i think i still need to put the thing on him klaus required wait what you're gonna step back in there oh bro what do you mean oh is it because i didn't put the head gearing on him it says need this bro, i'm so confused is it gonna work or is it not gonna work like i just need to know game i don't think it's gonna work okay is he just gonna chill in there now or i'm actually so lost okay so i think we've upgraded him i'm pretty sure the second one is something to do with like a second upgrade for klaus which we don't actually need so that, that's calm all right we don't actually need that apparently it's like pretty stupid anyways you've got like look for a panel that like says klaus on it or has like a klaus symbol on it you can only see it through the black light and bro, it's just stupid all right so we're not gonna do that i didn't think i had to do it when i've done this easter egg before but i guess i was right so what i need to make sure i do this round is i go ahead and actually upgrade klaus like i put the thing on him so i wonder if i could just do that now yeah there we go so bam Klaus is stacked up. But I don't think I need to take him back there, but... Right, Klaus, will you actually hurry up? Klaus takes so long to, like, get ready. It's actually unreal. Oh, okay, there we go. So let's come over here. Let's uh, interact with this. So switch the tracks. And it put Klaus... I think it's right there. But I could be wrong, but maybe it's on this side. I think it is. But yeah, here we go. All right, so we have to be quick here because we have to go up two things. Wait for the stop. There we go. Then we need to pick up this key card here. And then we need to pick up the warhead. Where is the warhead? There it is. Okay, nice. So let's just head into this room real quick. We can interact with this a few times. Call in the warhead or the, like uranium or whatever it is bam there it is so let's go ahead and take out all of these real quick bro this one weapon is so good i need to upgrade it again it's still like level one upgrade so you know what? i'll go ahead and quickly do that why not so let's leave these two down here so as soon as they drop the uranium uh, i can go ahead and craft it right here so pick this up and let's quickly take it over to the zip lines i'm pretty sure one goes right here oh my god you were joking bro again all right let's do that there we go i don't think i've ever had that bug happen to me before like until this game it's like my first time yeah there we go let's get our second piece of uranium then once again we just need to go up this zip line here and then place the uranium uranium 
right there. So that's going to cause them to clash together, you know, explode. I think they fuse into one because then you get this like cleansed one, or refined uranium. So yeah, now we've got to do is just take it all the way down to this like bomb thingy. So place that down there, place in the cleansed uranium. And then we need to get one more, but yeah, it's pretty much like the same, I guess, like premise or like, I don't know. You'd think English like isn't my first language, but it is. You know, I was born and raised in the English. So it is low-key kind of embarrassing how much I mess up words. In my defense, it is two in the morning. Yeah, what have I got to do? Have I got to end the round before I can do the next uranium? I think I have to. So there we go. Grab ourselves our max ammo. And can we interact with it? Yeah, okay, we can. Perfect. So this time it's all the way up there, which, you know, it's a little bit different, but it's not too much of a problem. Have oh, they jumped down here? Oh, they have. Oh, hello. That is a lot more convenient though that they've jumped down here. So let's pick up the uranium. Should be an area over here for us to craft it. Yeah, here we go. Build that there. Oh my god, let's try and not die. We do need to be quick. Oh, there we go. And we literally just place them in the same spot. So let's put one there. We'll grab the second one. Quickly build it. And then we'll just put it up there. And I think once we've done that, we might be at the boss fight. So there we go. I'm trying to think of things we could do. I guess we could try and get 7,000 more points to fully max out our weapon. Could be the shout. Yeah, I might just quickly die just for the extra damage. Okay, so there we go. All right, we've got 31,000 points. So I'm going to pick up this uranium on the way to a quick little drive by and pick up our weapon. And then if I just head down here and place this here, I think it's boss fight time. Yeah, I, I can't leave. I probably should have gotten some armor before I came in here, but you know what? It's fine. First phase isn't too bad in this boss fight, so we shouldn't die. It's Valentina. She is such a bad bitch, though. Right, I said it before. Treyarch knew what they were doing. They knew. Right, either way, here we go. Boss fight time, so let's just clap her up real quick. There we go. I've already got rid of her shield. Okay, hide. Here, she does that attack. We kind of just need to hide. I mean, we could pop our ring of fire, to be fair, and then literally be invincible from it, but I kind of want to save the ring of fire, maybe for, like, the next phase. So just keep shooting. Again, as I said, we shouldn't really die here. Already a phase done. I think it is, yeah. Not bad at all. We can just quickly get ourselves some armor, and then let's just head out. I think this is where I'm going to pop uh, ring of fire. Yeah, here you go. Look, she just can't hit me here. So just an easy phase. Look at the damage. I think that's it. Uh, phase done. That was wild. Oh my god, we did that so quick. And we destroyed the Krenzy Soul. I didn't even realize he spawned in. But my bad. Okay, let's head up here. And let's just do as much damage as we can. Hopefully without dying. Is that it? No, okay. Go again. Oh, that's an insta kill attack. Okay, we gotta hide. There we go. Let's just clap you real quick. Any second, I should be out of this phase. Oh my god, okay. I think she's out of it though. I don't know if she's immune. Yep, there she goes. Okay, where's she off to? She's down there. Oh, very nice. You know what? I'm just gonna stay like this for the rest of my life. Okay, next phase. We are running kind of low on ammo. A little bit worrying. Still haven't got my ring of fire yet, but to be fair, haven't really been killing zombies. Oh my god, not really many places to hide from this attack. So gotta be a little bit careful, but yeah, we are about to run out of ammo. Yikes, okay. Oh my god, we're also really low on uh, health. Let's just play it safe. Oh my god, there's a crazy soldier. Okay, he should drop ammo. The only thing is, I didn't really upgrade this M16, so it's kind of weak. If we take out the Mangler instead, maybe a better chance against some ammo. We just need a little bit, and then we'll be good. Oh, that's an insta kill attack. Oh no. I bind here, maybe? Oh my god, okay, I really thought I was gonna die there. Okay, take out the Mangler, come on. Oh my god, game. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I should not be struggling with this attack. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Okay, we killed the Mangler. Bro, we became brain rot. No. Oh, you were joking. That is so unfortunate. That is actually such an owl. Oh, the Krenzy saw that die. Give me some ammo, please. Oh my god, we got some ammo. Holy. Yeah, I'm gonna pop Ring of Fire and I'm just gonna go in. We need to get her out of his face. Like, literally as soon as possible. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, we have got 18 health, bro. That was real close. Okay, we managed to get a full armor. And then since we've got like 12,000 points, I think we have enough for the ammo box. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good for the panel phase. Oh, let's go. All right, Valentina, it was a fun fight, but the time has come. Oh, she's hit me with the insta kill attack. What an absolute cheeky bitch. We're all good though. I'm not even sweating. Right, I think a few more shots though. It should be over. So there we go. Done. Bam. Get yeah, x-rayed or raid laser beam. All right, let's capture Valentina. So there we go. But if you know Mal the Totem, all right, it's not over just yet. Here we go. The absolute hero of the map, Klaus. Gotta take one for the team. Here he goes, delivering the warhead. We could fail the Easter egg here. All right, so I don't want to, you know, mess around just yet. I've got to defend my boy from all the zombies real quick. What an absolute hero. So risking his life. He's actually giving away his life. They're great and good. I don't really know what he's doing. He's just taking it to the dark either. No, it doesn't even matter. What a king. Klaus, you've got it, bro. Go in. You deliver that warhead. All right, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take, but come on. Klaus, are you good, bro? Are you going to go in? Do I need to go in with him? Klaus, go then. We're just standing still. Okay, there we go. So oh, there we go. I think that is the end of the Maldo Totem Easter egg. There we go. Main quest finished. And I believe the cutscene should play. But bam, there we go. It only took an hour and two minutes as well. Not too bad. I'm getting pretty good at Easter egg now. So yeah, that is going to be it. All the layer M in this video. So, so far we spelled out the word Zom, but we're going to get the word Bs going. So let's go ahead and move on to the next letter, which is B. Right then, so for the letter B, we have Buried. Now, you probably already knew that I was going to do Buried from like the last map, but look, all right, I still have to announce it every single time. So I know a lot of people might be a little bit upset. They might be like, Jake, come on, this is the coward's way. The letter B, you should have done Blood of the Dead. Now, don't worry, you know, I, I took that into consideration. But you see, all right, the difference between Buried and Blood of the Dead. Blood of the Dead. There we go. Jesus. All right, I keep like stumbling across my words, thinking I'm like drunk or something. But yeah, the difference is, all right, is that Buried is like probably like 40 minutes and so low. Blood of the Dead can take up to like two hours, all right? So we're going to do Buried, but don't worry. Chances are my next big Easter egg video uh, will probably have Blood of the Dead in it. I can't even lie to you
so I can pull out money from that bank because apparently on custom games you literally have infinite money. I didn't realize. So you know, 70 grand you know, should be enough. I might, I might deposit a few. I don't want to use up all my money, all right? Yeah, I am a little bit worried because I'm hoping my solo Easter egg mod will still work on custom games. Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to see. So on the power, there we go. I swear, if I do like the really annoying steps and then the game just says like, nah, you can't go any further, I'm not going to be happy. So we're doing maxes because the maxi side is honestly 10 times better than the Rick Tuffin side. Honestly, right, the Rick Tuffin side is just like so annoying, especially when you have to go back in time. Like, obviously, that step was made for co-op, but in solo, that step is an actual nightmare. What are we going to get for the box? We got the DSR 50. Let's go. Uh, I don't want to move it, but kind of wish the game would just give me the paralyzer and the time bomb just real quick. Uh, Leroy, what do I want to do with you? Uh, I'm going to use you to open up to the church. That's what I'm going to do. So here we go. Go ahead and send Leroy over there. You know what? While I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this part right here, just so I don't have to worry about coming back later on. So uh, bam, there we go. All right, Leroy, let's go. Uh, I want him to lock down the box. You don't need the paralyzer for this Easter egg. You do need the time bomb. So obviously, hopefully we can get those. But you don't need the paralyzer, which just make my life 10 times easier. Because the first step of this Easter egg, right, is we need to get the turbine and the subsurface resonator. And we need to go around the map destroying all of these like orbs, which is really annoying on solo because you have to just keep going back and forward. Oh, we did get the better box to climb upon though, which is quite nice. So we need to get paralyzer. Oh my God, I'm walking out. Like, bro, I actually left speech as there. Straight up started sound like Mike Tyson. Does that make any sense what I just said there? No, but you know what? That's the point. Right, come again. Give me time bombs. Literally the last thing I need. You give me the monkey bombs. Are you joking? <laughs> Entry game. I need the other tactical, please. Oh, we got the Reagan Mark too. I mean, that would be nice to keep, but you still haven't given me the time bomb yet. Oh, we got it. There we go. Finally. All right. So let's go ahead and start building the subsurface resonator and the turbine. So what I might do is just make my way over here, buy some candy, come back over here and just have Leroy build the subsurface resonator for me. And sometimes I just can't find any of the parts for the subsurface resonator. It's actually annoying. So I'm going to leave that up to Leroy. You know, that's his job. And while he does that, I'm going to start working building the turbine. Turbine. So come away in here, go ahead and build it here. Here's the second part. And we'll just go ahead and add on the final part. And there we go. So as I said, we now need to destroy these like old thingies. So let's do the long and tedious task of breaking all of those. So I actually really love Buried. Like I can't wait for the people who are remastering it on Black Ops 3 to like actually release it. My plan is right, is once all of the remasters are out, what like I Rise, Buried and Transit. Once those three are out, I'm going to make uh, beating every Zombie Chronicle 2 Easter egg in like a set amount of time or whatever. I don't know. Because to me, right, pretty much everything else is out. You've got Call of the Dead that came out and that technically is a Mob of the Dead remaster. I made a video on it, but I think I ended up having it because, you know, YouTube don't like me posting short videos. Yeah, so technically that's already out. So once we have that, we will have Zombie Chronicles 2. I think someone is remastering like Mob of the Dead again, but I don't know how far they are on like actually getting that completed. Hopefully not too far. Yeah, the one I'm mostly excited for is probably Buried because it's mine and probably a lot of other people's favorite like Victus map. I'm sure if I like tagged the tone for some reason. Okay, so I believe if there are breaks up here, should be the last one. So all we've got to do now is just like build a noose and hopefully, as a big hopefully, just in case like either the mod's not installed right or it just doesn't work on custom games, which it should work on custom games because you can do it to play with other people. So it, it's basically just in case like the mod hasn't installed properly. But yeah, hopefully the lantern will spawn. You know, we should be able to get through this Easter egg without any more problems. So where's the last part? I noticed this one here. Is this it? I can't actually tell. Oh, we also got a jug as well. That's quite nice. Right, so go ahead and add this on here. But I think there's another part, but which one am I missing? Oh, I'm actually so dumb. The, the part we're missing is just this one here. Okay, then so add this on here. And is the lantern going to spawn? Yeah, there it is. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, so all we got to do is just throw a grenade there. Hopefully we don't miss. I'll blow myself up. That'd be nice. So there we go. And then pick that up. By the way, all of that took me 17 minutes to do. Actually outrageous. Yeah, so now that we've done that, we're going to have Leroy get kills with the candy, I believe. So I'll buy me some more. And then I'll just go ahead and end the round. We've also got a perm perk there. Very nice. Don't know what I got, but you know, we just moved like that. And then another thing I need to do is I need to build the Galvan Knuckles. Oh, and and of course, you can't carry candy or the galvanic at the same time. That's just, you know, silly. You know what? It's fine. Okay, so give Leroy the candy. Yeah, as he's beating up, it's like getting up the lantern. He's getting, I can hear it. So I'm not too sure how many kills it takes, but I'll know eventually because I'll just stop making a sound. But go on. I think that's it. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now we actually do need the galvanic calls. All right, watch this, yeah? I'm going to blow your guys' mind. Someone, all right, who's watching the video, and this could be you, random viewer. Someone is eating a sandwich. All right, I know it is. If I was right, you know, let me know in the comments. I guarantee at least one of you guys is eating a sandwich right now. That's going to be someone who's like actually checking behind that background. I'll make sure I'm not spying on them. Yeah, okay, so next up, we need to decipher this cipher. Is that what you say? Decipher this cipher. Well, I'm actually Shakespeare with that type of language, but what have we got? So we've got bone, write that down. Pretty sure we've got lunger, and I believe it's consumption. So what we've got to do then is just throw down a time bomb. Then we just need to come up here and knife all of these signs. So here's lunger. Oh, we're not going to have enough points, are we? I already know we ain't. It's consumption. And then bone is all the way on like that side of the map. So I need to get some more points, actually. Oh, bro, I hate that you can't make it up here. I feel like you can. I feel like I've done it before. I just can't make it. No, it's 
fine. I'm pretty sure it's just here anyway. So there we go. Now all we got to do is just follow this wisp around. And I'm pretty sure once we've done it once, we just need to go back in time and then do it a second time. And I'm pretty sure we'll be on to like the final step of the Easter egg. Or like second final step. Now I'm telling you right, the second to last step, especially on solo, is genuinely the worst. You'll see what I mean in a bit, but there you go. We've done one. So let's just go back in time. This step's like stupid, by the way, because there will definitely be some people that just don't put a time bomb down. All right, I'm guilty of that myself. There's a part here, bro. What? I guess that's for the guillotine, but yeah, it really makes you think like, bro, what was Treyarch's thought process with that? If you don't have the time bomb and you do that step the first time, like that's it. Like you have to restart the game. There's no coming back from it. It's so silly. Here we go. Let's knife this again and let's do this a second time and we'll be on our way. All right. So as soon as that goes into that, that should be that step done. So we are nearly done with the Easter egg. We're 26 minutes into this. And this next step will actually probably take about like 15 minutes. I'm not even joking. So what I need to do is I need to go into the witch's house. If I come over here, I can use this lever. And actually, I'm going to have to have like an image here. But basically, there's nine lights that are going to flash and we need to go over to each of those locations and we're going to need to ring a bell. So the first one is in the barn. Well, I mean, there's like three in each location. So I'm just going to call it barn three. Yeah, pretty much every single time I need to come back, look at the symbol or the light, sorry, then go back into the main area, hit the bell and then just repeat like nine times. It's so annoying, it's so, like especially on solo. Again, all right, this Easter egg isn't made for solo. So I do understand, but still all right. I've got to complain about something. So let's hit that. Next up, we've got barn one. So it's just this one here. Okay, then we got courthouse two which is just this one here. Does anyone who's like plays Xbox back in the day, right, when BO2 like first came to um, backwards compatibility, does anyone remember like the looking for group chats? Or, like community, sorry. That's literally like how I beat the Black Ops 2 Easter eggs for like the first time all the way back on Xbox. Because when it came to like doing Easter eggs, it wasn't like really me and one other person that would really do them. Everyone else we knew at the time just like literally just would not be able to comprehend like an Easter egg. So yeah, we used to have to like use those groups. I don't know why. Massive nostalgia place. Blast. Also, which one was it? I think it was Candy shop three. Hopefully it is and I don't just mess it up here but yeah they do have stuff like that on PlayStation but it doesn't hit the same. Oh my god I just remember like the old Xbox design like UI. Honestly I, I kind of miss it. I wish Xbox like they gave um an option for you to go back to like the different UIs that they've made because they've made so many. Like it's honestly kind of ridiculous and you think like PlayStation just stuck to the same one. Even now with like the PS5 it's still got the same kind of like layout. But yeah, I actually miss the old Xbox UI design. It was actually so like just nostalgic. All right what do we got? We got Courthouse 3. Okay, I'm just trying to pass the time right talking into my microphone while I do this boring little step. Alright, so that's Courthouse 3. Alright, what do we got? That's Candy Shop 2. And so it's this one here. And this is the last time I'm having to go in here because there's only two left. So, you know, whatever it's not is going to be the last one. And then we'll be on to the very final step. So far, for the record, I can't remember what time I said we went into this app, but it's now at 37 minutes as part of the recording. So, yeah, this step does take a while. But yeah, anyways, it's like Candy Shop 1, and then I think it's Barn 2 to finish it off. So, just head near and hit this one here. And then which one is Barn 2? I think it's this one. Hopefully, I did that right. I'm a bit risky there. I didn't even check my little guide. I swear, if I've messed this up, I'm actually going to cry. Oh my god, we can make a wish. Thank god. Okay, so we are on to the final step now. So hopefully I can make a crawler here. I can't. I might be very upset. We made a crawler. Actually, a god. All right, Leroy, come over here. Okay, there's something needs to go. Um, Oh my god, Leroy, you're actually trolling me. Leroy, you're trolling me. Okay, whatever. Uh, Leroy, okay, just pick up this zombie. There we go. Yeah, you babysit him for a bit. Okay, so now that he's done that, we need to do the very final step, which is the sharpshooter step. So yeah, now that we've done that, we need to do the very final step, which is the sharpshooter step. So let's go ahead and make a wish. And then what we got to do is we need to shoot all of these targets in one area. So usually you'd have a team of four that you don't have to shoot all of the targets. Can't miss a single one. But since it's solo, you know, it'd be literally impossible for me to shoot targets all the way in saloon. So I only have to do one little area. So I'm going to do this area right here because I know where pretty much all of the targets are because every single time I do this Easter egg, this is where I go. Okay, so I'm going to have to record this after I'm done editing it. Basically, there's just like a big cut off here because my power supply and my PC just like broke. I actually said, you know what? I don't want to be here no more. So yeah, I might save the recording, but I don't have the ending to it. But I mean, we're pretty much at the end of the Easter egg anyways. So, you know, I'm going to count that as a completion. So, we'll be out of the way. Let's go ahead and move on to our next Easter egg with a map that starts with the letter I. Okay, so onto the letter I, we have 9 or IX, you know. Now, I'm doing 9 because I'm pretty sure the only two maps are 9 and Infection. And obviously, we already did Outbreak on Advanced Warfare. So, you know what we're going to do in uh, 9? I was going to say Infection there, but you know. See, I'm like a constant worry. <laughs> That's just like my power supply is just going to break again. The blow up on me mid recording. The everything is against me, like recording and uploading videos. Luckily, I managed to recover the recording from buried but still i was not about that life all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop this back garlic here see what we got i mean blood will bite kind of sucks at the same time doesn't like it really just depends if i'm trying to save a zombie and a loon just comes up and just like domes the last guy i won't be happy but might be a clutch who knows literally all i need is just a helion salvo and i'm happy all right so let's pop shopping through here just try and open up everywhere on the map now the thing is right it's like the easter egg isn't hard it's just really annoying because there's just steps where you just have to go like multiple rounds so there's just like a lot of waiting do you know what? i'm personally not a big fan of. Oh, can I open up this door? Oh my god, that is 
is actually so sad. Right, well, I suppose to hit the box a few times, try and get me the Helion style if I can. Uh, we got the sword, which is not quite well won. We also have mule kick, which is a massive L. Watch this be the Helion Salvo. It's going to go to my mule kick slot. Okay, it's not. To be fair, it actually doesn't matter. Like, the game will just remove one random weapon when you die, which is so dumb. Also, we didn't get time slip, which kind of sucks as well because time slip would have been massive hit in the box. Yeah, now that I've given myself all the OP stuff, you know, let's do the trials. Got ourselves access to pack a punch. Oh, there we go. This one next. This buzzer used to be so good. Like, he used to one tap in the head. Uh, I don't know if it still will. I need to get through that armor first. So I'm missing all my shots. Uh, no, okay, it doesn't work. Oh, but there's Luna. We're going to end the round as well. Just clap these two guys as well. There we go. This gun's so weird. It shoots like explosive bullets. I don't know if it's like a good gun or not. I mean, it's just white black guy. I bro didn't even get a chance to jump down. He just fell. So, you know, let's go ahead and put the heads on the spike. And I'm pretty sure we can actually start like all the steps. So, so there should be a school somewhere around here that has like a symbol on it. Can be a bit of a pain to find. So hopefully we can find it pretty easily. Oh, there it is. Okay, so put my specialist. We're going to end the round. Should knock off the school tool. There we go. Pick that up and there we go our first part make some big moves so we also need to get really low affinity so you know we're gonna literally get the poo poo and then what else do we need we need that piece of wood so we pretty much just need to go quite a few rounds so you know let's just make a start on that now we'll also work towards getting the shield so there is stuff we can do here's the second piece of the shield and the last piece should just be somewhere i think all the way over there okay, here we go also want to make sure i'm using these fire cells because I need the wonder weapon out of the box oh we got the helium salvo let's go it's actually kind of big okay, our affinity is at like the lowest it can get so hopefully they'll throw the poo at me maybe if i end the round Oh, here we go. So we're already for now. There it is. So there is the poo. Very nice. Now I'm pretty sure the only thing we're waiting for now is to one get the wonder weapon uh, and to get a gladiator round. So pretty much we just want to speed run through these rounds. My game, give me my game. Give me the wonder weapon. No, nothing. Okay. See, I know there is a quest to like get it for free, but I just can't remember how to do it. To be honest, when you've got like gobble gums, there's just like no need to do quests like that. Okay. Well, still nothing. All right. Let's start hitting the actual box. See, I hate hitting this box. So you only get like all hits before it moves. I'm not even playing. But look, here's our second hit. Here's our third hit. Here's our fourth hit. And now look, I guarantee it's about to move. It never lasts more than four. Okay, that, that is it's actually like, ridiculous. Just showing me up in front of all my friends. Bro, I promise you it never lasts this long. Bro, this is ridiculous. I actually can't believe this. I'm getting humiliated right now. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's only four in rush mode. Oh, dude, it's the wrong guy. It's not the one I need. Bro, how have I actually not gotten here? I've had this switchblade so many times. Oh, we got a monculus, so that's pretty good. Also, this might be the gladiator round. It could also be a tiger round. Yeah, I think it's a tiger round. That's so. Oh, it's a gladiator. Okay, hold up. That's actually kind of big. Okay, so we need to take him all the way down here. I need to make sure that Luna doesn't come out. Okay, she is on cooldown. That's good. Okay, which one is it? I think it's this one. Oh, there's the wood. Okay, perfect. That's actually kind of big because that means we can start uh, burning the wood. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but yeah, we can start on that this round. So we'll plop that in there and we'll come back to that in like what? Three or four rounds? I actually can't remember how long it takes. It takes too long. Come on, game, please. At this point, I would have honestly been better off just doing the wonder weapon quest. But this is actually ridiculous. The thing is, I would do it, but I don't know how to do it. I'm pretty sure you've got to like shoot that down. And that's going to point somewhere. So that points over here. And somewhere in this area, there's going to be like a scorpion statue. And like that's honestly as far as I know. I, I don't even know where it is. Pretty sure we also need the acid trap as well. So it's just like, it's gonna be such a pain to get us started. Oh, but never mind. We just got it. Honestly, easy. Okay, so I want to do some stuff before the round ends. So first things first, is this done? It is not done. Okay. So that'll probably be done next round if I had to take a guess. So let's head here, put the school in the grinder. We need to zap that a few times so it grinds it down. So is that done? Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and end the round. So right, see you later. Okay, so that was done finally. And then what we gotta do is head over here and then ferment it there. Now I'm pretty sure that's gonna take like a few rounds, maybe like one or two rounds. So in the meanwhile, I'm gonna pop a shopping through here because you know i'm actually minted and i just want to fully max out my weapons okay so that's a helion salvo done uh, let's also do this vmp we don't have to max or anything like that but i want to try and get firebomb on it no that's killer war cryo freeze and not what i want shop three did just run out which kind of sucks but whatever you know we do have quite a few points so i'm not too bothered surely right out of fifteen thousand points we're gonna get firebomb St killer war again actually a joke hey, got, bro just hit me firebomb finally holy all right then guess what pack runs death over ryan so there we go this still isn't done so probably gonna have to wait till the next round Okay, so there we go. So now, once again, we've got to place it down right here and wait another, like, two or three rounds. It's so dumb. I swear, like, it makes steps like this just to push you forwards in the round. It's so annoying. This is why, like, although I don't mind Black Ops 4 as a game, I just hate doing the Easter eggs on solo. I just having to wait around like this is just so boring. You know what? It's fine. I don't even care. You know, we're going to make it through this. We do have a gladiator round. Okay, so at least this round's going to go by really quick. Okay, there we go. And is this done? No, of course it's not done. So we've got to go to the next round. So, you know, what? I did this in the Easter egg video, but I'm going to do it again. How is everybody's week going? All right, let me know down in the comments. I mean, you already know how my week's gone. It's gone absolutely horrendous. I still don't know what happened, bro. Like, I was literally, like, recording buried, and just, like, all of my electricity turned off upstairs. EC would no longer turn on. It was actually heartbreaking. And honestly, right, like, EC part, like, tech shops, right, especially in the UK. I don't know if it's the same in America. It probably is. They're just so annoying, bro. Like, right, it's so, like, I went in, and I was like, all right, look, right, I need a power supply. And the guy was like, oh, dude, like, bro, it could be anything, you know? Like, you'd have to bring it in, and I'd have to, you know, come check it out. You know, it only costs, like, £40 for a diagnostic, but, you know, if, if there is a problem you want me to 
fix it, it would cost up to 70 quid. I was like, bro, just give me the power supply and let me be on my way. It's like, I actually do not need you to like check out my PC. There's actually no need. You're just trying to scam me out of my money. But enough of that. This is going to take me into the challenge. There we go. I didn't even comment on the fact that like the thing had finished fermenting and we got like a firebomb kill on, on top of it. I was going to have a big rant about PC like repair people. They're actually so annoying. They just try to scam you. Because literally what they do, right, is they like try and build fear in you. Like, oh, dude, there could be more things wrong with it. And it's like, it's not, bro. It's just a real simple thing. Right, well, either way, we're just destroying this challenge right now. We're another homunculus. So keep them over there. I'll last up this final red spore. It's such a cool skybox, by the way. A vibe with it. A vibe like a little 14 year old schoolgirl. Yes, yeah, so now that that's done, this challenge is completed. Now, I believe we've now got to run around the map and look like the ball symbols. These things can be super annoying since they're very hidden and they can be outside the map. Thank you to the person at Treyarch who designed that step. You know, brilliant job. There's one all the way up there. You guys probably couldn't even see that. No insult to you. Like, I literally couldn't even see it. So a tiny little speck and I was like, you know what? Sure, that's got to be one of them. Okay, there's another one. And my guess is like the last two is we're going to be down here somewhere. Oh my God, Luna's going to come in. Oh, you actual rat. Okay, is that one there? I actually can't even tell. No, but what do you want? I guess there's none in there. Oh, there's one there. Okay, there we go. So we kill you. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be one more somewhere on the map. So I don't know if I've talked about this on video, but a game I've been like really getting into, like when I'm not recording, is The Binding of Isaac. Bro, it's like low-key addiction. I'm going with the intention of playing like one game, come out with like 50 games in my belt. That one? No, okay. Honestly, it's so fun, but there's so much to do. Like I play quite a bit of it now. Like I kind of play quite a bit of my PlayStation and like, eventually switch to PC because you know, it's just better. But bro, like I put so much time into it and I've honestly probably gone like 15% of the game. Also, where is this last symbol? I actually cannot find it. Oh, there it is. I'm not shoot that. I'm not check there. I mean, I guess not, but I'm convinced I'll check. There's no gladiator showing up. Hello? Uh, no. Maybe I did already shoot that one, but I am actually flabbergasted. Oh, maybe you're it. Uh, shoot you. There we go. Okay, so we've done all four of them, which means we can now start on the raw trail. So let's just start this up now. So what have we got? We got fire, uh, water, and what else we got? We've got reason, and then we've got gladiator. All right, so if you don't know what we have to do, we pretty much have like, all the zombies in that order. So hopefully we find a fire zombie pretty quick. See, the thing is, right, is sometimes you find all the zombies you need, except for that first one, and you're just stuck having to train them around. Oh, there's the water one. We had a gladiator somewhere. Okay, there's the poison one. See, I told you, look, we're just waiting on this fire zombie. Where's he at? Oh, here he is. Okay, so fire's done. We now need to do water. So he's going to be hiding like a little bitch. There he is. So take you out. I mean, there's like a poison one. So go you. And then we just need to kill the gladiator. So bam. Easy stuff. Now we just got to do it all over again. So what have you got for me, game? We've got a light father. Okay, not the greatest thing in the world. Uh, I believe that's roller. And we've got fire again. And our final one is going to be uh, electric. A little bit of a scary combination of enemies here. But you know what? I believe light fire, I think, is spawning somewhere over here, maybe. No, he's down below us. I want to kill this guy as soon as possible. Oh my god, where's he at? There he is. Uh, take you out. Okay, there's Blight Father down. What's next? Brawler. Oh my god, dude, please don't kill me. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, Brawler. I think that's him down. Now we need to kill Fire. So where is he at? There he is. And then we just need to kill the electric one, which is just here. So there we go. Not too bad. So I'm honestly trying to remember what step is next. Pretty sure it's this step. But yeah, here we go. So we get teleported down here, and I believe we just need to shoot the four screws. So there's one not here. What am I on about? One right here. So there we go. There's another one. So we shoot that. I think you don't have to shoot it twice, but I shoot it three times just to be careful. Yep, here's another another one. So one, two. Oh my god, okay, where am I going? Where is the last one? Oh, there it is. So one and two. And yeah, there we go. Oh, there's that step complete. Now I'm trying to remember what's next. Oh, that's right. I've got to get killer what kills. By that, I pretty much I need to kill like gladiators in this little like electric circle here on the floor. A little bit hard to see, but I guess I could go pack much my uh, dark impaler or, you know, the VMP. Try and get killer what on that. Also, you know, the game doesn't want to give me it now. There we go. Okay, so what we can do is we can bring this guy into the circle real quick. So, you know, hurry up. What is bro actually staring at? Come on. All right, there we go. So then we kill him. It's going to count to like all souls or something like that. Like six souls into that little lightning ball thingy. So the gladiator and the brawlers are the best way to fill them up, but honestly, they spawn so rarely. So how much would just like a regular weapon, which is like regular zombies do, it didn't even fill it up. I literally don't think that did anything. That's kind of wild. Okay, so kill the brawler. There you go. That should be that one done. So we just have to do that for three more things. Okay, we've got another brawler there. It didn't quite fill it up. Kind of sucks. Oh, we got gladiator. Okay, bam. That one should be done. Perfect. So we'll do this one next. I genuinely can't believe that's not doing anything. Surely it is. No, literally nothing. Oh, is this a gladiator round? Okay, that's actually perfect. Okay, is that going to fill it up? Uh, not quite. So will you just come over here, please? Thank you very much. Now, all that means is the last one is right here. Is there any more gladiators? Yes, there is. I think it's just the one, though, which kind of sucks. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, we have to fill the last one with, like, one more gladiator or brawler, so that's not too bad. Oh, no, no, Luna, don't kill him. Oh, my God, there we go. Okay, so then all we got to do is just interact with these, I believe. Let's return them red. There we go. What we got now is, like, a big gladiator onslaught. You know, I'm not even going to worry about that. I've got the healing on salvo. You're meant to use the specialist weapon, but honestly, like, bro, you're actually better off just using the healing on salvo.
Bro, oh, bro, what do you even mean? I just got one tap. I am actually full of lava gas about that. I hope I didn't lose anything important. Imagine I just lost my healing on Salvo. Okay, we're good. We lost the, uh, the what? Um, okay, I have no idea what's going on, but it doesn't even matter. We lost the VMP and not even a problem though. We still have everything we need to beat this Easter egg. So after this step, we're actually coming up on the end of the Easter egg. There's not a whole lot really left to do. We do have probably the most boring step in all of Call Duty Zombies history coming up though. You know, that's going to be fun. So this is so much more chaotic than I remember it being. Oh, Lee. I was actually struggling there for a second. Bro, I guess guess we'll quickly try and do this step so oh my god let's try not die actually basically what we've got to do right is we've got to shoot these like little symbols on the wall uh, using the death of Ryan or circus kiss or whatever it is this step can be a bit of a pain but i believe we're gonna have no troubles why do i think that absolutely no reason oh my god okay we got that one Ooh, why is this so scary most intense game of black ops 4 i've ever had in my life okay this is the hard one so we might struggle to get this but oh we managed to get it okay let's go huge all right we're literally on to the final step so all we gotta do is just come over here but where are these zombies coming from like actually there's so many of them getting bummed yeah there we go right, so this is literally the most boring step in all of Cool G's Zombies history. I'm not even playing. All we do is we just sit here with the shield out and just kill. It is so slow. So honestly, I've not really got a whole lot to say. Literally, just like as soon as you run out of ammo, you know, just buy more ammo from the shield right here. And that's it. You could make it super intense, but like, wh why would you do that? It always makes me laugh when people comment like, oh my god, he's using Persona music. I don't know how like known it is for like, you know, returning viewers, but the Persona series is like one of my favorite game series of all time. Like I've been playing them for so long. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the music. Okay, what's going on? Are we good? Like literally there's no zombies like a solid like six seconds okay, how close are we to being done oh my god it's literally still so far away oh i can see the key please tell me we're done it? oh my god we did it okay thank god okay we're ready for the boss so far you know it's only taken us 57 minutes to get up to this point not too shabby yeah i'm just going straight for the boss but i don't really have to set up or anything like that oh bam let's go so honestly like i'm not even worried about this boss fight see i do like nine as a map but boys it's such a boring easter egg it's just so much waiting and just something like bomb steps like this step bro like i guess to be fair like i'm bringing in the best weapon in the like, entire game but i mean Look, I'm not going to struggle against like a bunch of gladiators. They drag it on so long as well. <laughs> but then they throw out the tigers. Like, bro, what are these little geeks going to do to me? The tigers, bro. I'm one tapping them. Right, eat these little guys for breakfast. Hello, game. Let's just get to the point. Let's bring out the big elephant. You know, let's take a start. Let's actually make this a bit more interesting. Uh, game, are we good? Like, what is going on? There's no enemies. There's no big elephant. There's nothing. Oh, there he is. He, he was a little bit shy, right? To be fair, if I had to go up against the Helion Salvo, I'd be scared as well. Okay, let's keep shooting him in the side. There we go. That's just like backing it off. Oh my god. Okay, I got surrounded by zombies the zombies are messing me up bro like i was shitting on this easter egg or this boss fight but like oh my god i can't even go, uh, give myself another a perk holly bro am i playing on like ultra hard difficulty today like what is going on okay there we go bro i really did just get humbled by the elephant right, well you know a little bit spooky let's just hope we don't get absolutely collapsed here and you know the final part of this boss fight all right here we go oh bro is not playing around uh actually back away please okay come on we just need to take off his back thing oh there we go perfect now i don't think i'll take too many shots before he dies all right let's just play it smart we kept our two good perks let's see if we didn't have phc slider i think would have died by now. Come on, bro. How many shots are you going to take? Bro, he's just tanking these Helion Salvo shots. Okay, he's dead. Holy, bro. I don't know what happened in the end of that boss fight, but we were actually playing on, like, ultra hard difficulty. Genuinely wild. Yeah, I mean, there we go, boys. So, that is the nine Easter egg domes, which, you know, means we've completed the letter I in our little challenge here. So, so far, we've battled with zombie. If there's a zombie swing that way, that's fine by me. So, yeah, you know, only two more Easter eggs left. So, you know, let's waste no more time. Let's just go ahead and move on to our next Easter egg. All right, then. So, on to E. So, there isn't a zombie map that begins with the letter E, but there is this extinction map called exodus so i know i said like beating easter eggs but technically you know finishing the map is kind of like the easter egg so that's what we're gonna do all right we're gonna beat this map real quick you know finish up the layer e so if you don't know anything about extinction basically you have like these challenges and it's not like wave based or anything like that it's kind of like objective based so as you can see there we've got a challenge so it says stay in the circle and kill 10 aliens so we've got this little circle here obviously we just gotta stay in it get some kills you know and doing these challenges gives us these like extra skill points which is gonna make us a lot stronger especially later on where it gets a little bit more challenging okay so this is last guy we need to kill there we go and now we can start upgrading stuff so i'm thinking we just upgrade our class at the top first maybe yeah i'm thinking that might be the play so yeah there we go all right we've got ourselves another skill point and we can move on into here so my baby here the k7 give me that i probably should have opened up this locker first um okay yeah i'm gonna rebuy back that k7 in a bit because then i can put all the attachments on there it'll all make sense but yeah let's start with this generator now we've got to kill the leper in 30 seconds so we need to find the one cryptid that's running away from him. there he is or just fell there <laughs> extinction was actually a really fun mode when i went back and played it obviously in case you don't know uh, i made a video where i beat every single extinction map and i think it was five hours i can't actually remember but yeah it was actually quite fun so if you want to watch that i'll probably have a link somewhere at the end of the video there is a few things that is quite annoying like these little like scorpion guys they're really annoying i hate these guys i never really like, hated extinction my main issue was like no one of my friends just wanted to play it especially when ghost came out like boys right, i don't think you guys know especially if you've gotten to call duty a bit later when ghost came out the community not even just for zombies but like the entire cod community was just in shambles people hated this game and obviously in terms of, like the zombies community they weren't really a big fan of 
on Extinction either, so yeah, it doesn't really feel like anyone liked this game when it first came out, but I feel like it's starting to grow on people. It's the one game that I wish had a sequel in terms of like campaign. This is on the biggest cliffhanger ever. But yeah, there we go. All right, we did that generator. Uh, what do I want to upgrade? I think I'm going to upgrade maybe the ammo. Yeah, ammo and armor. Those are like two of the most important things to upgrade. There we go. All right, we got another challenge. We got to kill five aliens in 30 seconds. So, so where are all the aliens at? Come on. We got to kill one more. Come on. Where are you guys at? Actually, hiding. All right, there he is. Knife him. Perfect. Okay, they're kind of messing with this generator. Hold up. Let me pop off real quick. Do you actually mind just dying? There we go. So, like, honestly, the main thing I don't like about extinction is just how long some of the objectives actually take. But keep in mind, right? I've already been recording for seven minutes and we've done, oh, I mean, we're about to do three things. There's quite a lot we need to do to actually beat this. So, this could take a while. Oh, the generator's damage. We need to repair that. So, there we go. Back at 100. And there we go. All right, we did generator. So, let's open up to here. Now, we've got to survive another one minute and 41 seconds. Oh, who is that little monkey? Is that a monkey bomb? It actually is. That's a cool little reference. That has to be a reference to like COD zombies, right? That's actually pretty sick. I never noticed that the first time around. Okay, so let's upgrade our armor and we'll do ammo again. And we're kind of cruising. Also, I forgot about the challenge. Holy, okay. We kill 15 zombies while in prone. I keep saying zombies, they're aliens or cryptids. Hopefully, we can still complete the objective. Worried we might have left it too late. Oh, there's a guy going, oh, bro. Oh, you need to back away. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get the challenge. That kind of sucks. Oh, unless three cryptids want to show me right now. Oh, bro, did we get it? Oh, bro, <laughs> you what a clutch. That's actually wild. Okay, I'm going to upgrade that. Do we upgrade my pistol at some point? So I think, here we go. Yeah, the NX1 Disruptor. We're going to want to make this. That weapon comes in so useful later on. Okay, so we need to look out for these red toolboxes. Usually they're literally everywhere, but apparently this time around the nose we've seen. Here we go. Let's pick up that. There's another one right here. So let's get that. And then here's the final one. Perfect. So we can go ahead and craft that. Gonna give us this little halo looking gun. Honestly, you wouldn't think this is zombies. This is going to sound so random, but I'm genuinely surprised this didn't show up in multiplayer in some form, right? Because I'm pretty sure in one of the multiplayer maps on this game, like you can actually get, I think it's called like, where my, my brain is actually like uh, short circuiting. What is it called? I'll put a picture of it on one screen, but I know there's a map where you can actually get that. It's one of the DLC maps. This map has some cool DLC maps. Like, I don't think it was based off Michael Myers, but there was like Kill Streak where you could play as Michael Myers. There's also another one you could play as like the Predator. There was some real cool DLC stuff. Also, can you come back here, please? Thank you. Like, it was genuinely so cool. If something like that will come back in like the new COD. Now, am I saying Ghost was ahead of its time? Probably not. There's a lot of things that Ghost did bad, like really big maps. Like, literally, right? I remember back in the day, right? 1v1s used to be real cool. You could not 1v1 on, like, pretty much any of the ghost maps. They were so bad. The only good map I can think of is, like, the one with the hot dog on it, right? If you know, you know. But I'm pretty sure, right, that map has got the exact same layout of, like, domes, so they kind of couldn't go wrong with it. I'm actually getting nostalgic over ghosts. All right, either way, we've got two more skill points. I'm going to do the pistol this time, because now we've got this, like, arc reactor thingy. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's literally just called, like, the arc. Yeah, either way, the challenge is spend 6,000 points before the generator is powered up. So that's not too hard. We'll just throw down some armor, throw down some ammo. Also, we do need to kill this thing. This is like the boss of the map. So just go ahead and take him out. But you can do this wonder weapon, right? Is you can actually charge it up and then shoot like a big blast at him. That's going to do some big damage. Because well, I do have to be careful because the last thing I want to do is let the generator go while I'm focused on this guy. So bam, I got missed. Let's go. Huge. Uh, let's just shoot him. See if we can just do a lot of damage. No, that's not doing it. What if I do these single shots? Oh my God, dude, our generator is going. Uh, okay, hold up. I'm going to repair this real quick. So I don't want to let this go. But there we go. And then what if I shoot this? Oh yeah, there we go. They're doing some big damage now. This is not easy. Oh, that's going to misses there. Oh no, we got him. Look, just shoot him a few times. There we go. Nice. So he's gone. Those guys are such big pain in the asses. Yeah, it should be smooth sailing from here. I don't think the normal crypt is going to cause any trouble. So uh, I don't think I need to upgrade this anymore. Oh, we got another arc here. Let's put that on the K7. That's going to make this K7 so much better. Actually, huge. Okay, what have we got? We got three points. Uh, I'm going to put it into our uh, weapon specialist here or I have medic on as well. That's going to not only improve my health regeneration, but also make my weapons just so much better. So yeah, other than that, I think we're good to move on. So let's open up to here. I think we can have another lockdown sequence or hold out thing. Yeah, we've got to go survive for two more minutes and we've got to kill 15 aliens in the circle. So let's stay right here. This challenge isn't too difficult to be fair. It's not like big enemies or anything like that. So one more alien and the challenge will be complete. So there we go. Certify gamer moment. Oh, we're going to have a guy showing up. Okay, just melt you real quick. So there we go. 20 more seconds. We're not having a hard time. Right, and there we go. So I believe we've got two more generators we quickly need to do. So let me go ahead and get on my right shield as well. I'm going to put another point to armor so we can get max armor from now on. There's no real point of upgrading this to max because the upgrade is kind of poo poo to be honest. So I think I'm going to start upgrading the drone. Might be the play here. So kill five aliens with turrets. All the generators powered up. Oh, what? Where is our turret? Oh, here. What is this? How am I going to get five kills doing this? It's literally looking into nowhere. It's no cryptids. Surely there's got to be another one. Yikes. Well, it's not looking good for us. Wait, apparently we got one. It was actual professional. Oh, here we go. There's three. Don't get many. Two more. Oh, there we go. There's one more. Oh, and there we go. Nice. Somehow managed to pull through on that. Okay, bro, you need to go. Okay, perfect. Says so that generator done. So I'm pretty sure we've only got 
got one more and we're basically at like the end of the game the end of the map sorry well, i mean technically this would be the end of the game because this is the last map okay here we go kill five aliens from a distance of 65 feet or more it shouldn't be too much of a problem we only take one more kill so there we go we do have this guy which could be a bit of a problem so if we blast him with a turret literally did nothing to him let's go uh, let's just shoot a few of these shots at him hopefully it's going to do some big damage just need to make sure i'm not neglecting the uh, generator here also apparently i didn't complete the challenge wait what okay a bit random we do it now no we still haven't done it there we go okay let's just quickly shoot him there we go that's some big damage there it is damage so i'm going to quickly repair that hopefully i don't die what if i shoot him with a single fight yeah the single fight seems to do a lot more damage oh bro what is this um, um bro what are you doing to me actually please let me go okay let's hit him with a power shot he's so close to dying one more shot maybe oh he put up his shield again what a rat i've got two days and some big damage to the generator those gargoyles are so strong as well uh back away okay you're gonna die now there we go he's gone oh my god this gets so intense <laughs> oh my god 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 i'm literally about to die please don't die please don't die no 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 no, no please please bro how am i actually still alive i actually don't even know this medic class is so good you actually need to go away you guys are so annoying yeah okay either way we complete this generator kind of big we have five skill points to spend so it's kind of huge let's do our vulture also upgrade armor to the max is so that gives us more armor and i'm also going to do maybe the shield so there we go we do need to quickly do this lockdown it's gonna take two minutes you can see the timer is actually going up at two minutes ten seconds now yeah after that we're at kind of like the boss fight for this game we've got to do like a mega lockdown there's going to be a lot of those guardians that take ages to kill so a little bit worried for how it's going to go but i think we should be fine we have a venom grenade i mean i guess i'll take it i don't know if we'll be able to build it by the time we go into the boss fight but i mean we can try so you go here's one of these so of that there should be quite a few around here yeah there's another one right here yep and then here's our last one so now we've got venom fx grenades so those are the fire ones don't think they're the best grenade we could have gotten but it's better than nothing i suppose and yeah there we go so we did that now what i could do if i really wanted to get those extra two skill points is go do those final doors but i really don't think we'll need them so instead i'm just gonna go straight into the boss fight what is good just wipe those all out do you have two skill points i don't agree just a shield to be honest woman jump scare bam so if you don't know what like the whole law of extinction is pretty much something to do with like this place is unsavable probably because of like the million gargoyles up there but essentially we're going to be giving up our lives for their greater good so let's go ahead and start the medusa and then here we go this is the big lockdown sequence this is where it's about to get real uh, what do we got in here we got the hypno trap we've got the nx1 grenades oh those would have been sick all right well we're definitely not gonna be able to build those we have these ancestors let me see if i can collab them real quick yeah this turret is literally doing nothing so how do i get off this yeah let's just go ahead and shoot him with that and we'll hit him with a few single shots i'm gonna do some big damage oh he put up his shield again what a rat oh dude this nx1 isn't charging up fast enough okay here we go hit him with that and i guess we'll just shoot him don't really know how i feel about being this close up to him hit him with a few singles oh there you go we did some big damage there okay big shot shield is down so come on game give me a break here oh he's so low oh shield's down okay shoot him oh dude he's literally one tap bro he's trolling me okay, and shield should be down hit him with one of these how is he not dead yet i'm actually amazed he's not dead yet bro just go down okay hold up if there's one more of these like red toolboxes which there is we can make ourselves those lx1 grenades so i don't think we're gonna need it against this guy because he's dead finally managed to kill him we could use those against like some of the next ones all right come on game we're on to the next stage uh, what's happening here okay perfect so we're on to the next stage so we do need to kill his ancestor we also need to do it in 180 seconds or less but uh, hopefully we can kill him i mean so far i'm missing all my shots there we go let's see what i need to do is i need to break up this door there we go perfect okay so he's gonna put up that i'm gonna throw this at him wait no i need to make him what am i doing okay, throw this at him it's gonna knock down his shield and then we shoot him just go to town oh yeah his weak spot is his head oh my god dude just destroyed this man i was honestly sad i'm i'm sorry for him okay blast him with that ah uh, uh, somehow missed nice come on take down your shield Give me a little pansy are you asking you receive a dead bro you're actually gone nice all oh, those rhinos all oh, stay away i think we're done with the second stage yeah we're on to the third stage now is that gonna be an ancestor i don't think there is we've got three skill points i don't think i want to upgrade uh also upgrade the shield i guess we're actually not doing too bad all right we, go. we do have an ancestor i hit him with a charged attack straight from the get-go that literally did nothing to him dude i am missing all of these shots on this guy all right it's funny but he's gonna break on my door it's gonna let me do some big damage to him so the shield no worries just call up that and he honestly might be dead yeah did we get him no we are very close though all right i'm just gonna throw another one of these then bam it's gone okay, i think we're nearly done with this as you can see the bar on the left is slowly going up taking its time but i think we just need to kill cryptids oh okay i think we're done so let's come over here press f to detonize that and i think there we go bro we had five skill points yeah there we go nearly had everything maxed out but there you go all right we beat exodus which also means we beat the layer e so don't waste any more time let's just go ahead and move on to our final easter egg for this video which is a map that begins with the letter s all right then so onto our final map for this video we've got a map that starts with the letter s it's shadows of evil so i've said this multiple times shadows is my favorite map in all of call of duty zombies i don't really know why i just like the aesthetic you know i like being able to play it you know it's got a cool route i suppose and, and all just to get pack a bunch i don't really know what i'm saying i'm just waffling here actual professional yapper but i like it and that's all that matters so this easter egg isn't super difficult we could have a few struggles with like the meatball step but look all right i believe i'm evolved since the last time i did this all right so let's go ahead and make a start on our first ritual here so bam there we go actually easy
easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, there we go. So I'm hoping to speedrun this because I'm trying to get it out. Well, I mean, today, like the day I'm recording this. Hopefully YouTube doesn't bum me too hard with like seven years of processing. But yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world either way. So we are going to have to end the round here. I have shopping free on. So if we can get that, that would be real big. But of course, you know, literally out of the three gobble gums, I would have been happy getting. We got the two that I would not be happy getting. Thank you, game. Actually got a lot of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into beast mode real quick. Bash open this through the floor because, you know, I can just do that. Quickly zap this. God, okay, I'm going to have to do some like crazy parkour here. Bash open that. And then can I hit this? Uh, game, please let me get it. Please, game. game. I'm actually begging. Oh, did I get it? I don't know. If I got that, it's actually going to be a miracle. Oh my God, I actually think I got it. Let's go. Professional Shadows of Evil player right here. So let's start up this ritual. And there is the second ritual done. So we should get a Magua here. Just kind of scary, but the Blood Hound is actually like surprisingly strong. So it might take a few shots, but I mean, look at that, right? Like one clip, one head already down. I would have liked my RK5 though. If you're wondering why I don't spawn with the RK5, pretty much I've got the solo Easter egg mod on so I can do the cutscene uh, and that takes away the RK5, which kind of sucks, but you know, it's not the end of the world. There we go. Look, all right, I've been playing Black Ops 3 since this game came out. I'm a professional in the field. What I also think that means uh, is we can go ahead and do this ritual this round as well, which would be quite nice. So hit that open. Can I do the little cheeky speed run skip? I always try to do it every single time I play now. Uh, I don't think I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm not getting it. Okay, well, I mean, it's over, boys. Run's dead. Let's go ahead and, you know, just, just quit. Not no point of keeping it going. I mean, to be fair, we're going to have to end the round anyway, so kind of sucks, but I mean, it really just is what it is. There we go. Stop this. Could get a little bit squeaky, but I think we'll be all right. Top up on the stage, you know, avoid all of the keepers. And there we go. So pick this up. Yeah, as I said, I'm probably going to have to end the round here. So actually, you know what I might do? It's going to sound a bit weird, but I'm going to take this over to the canals. I'm going to start clicking the sword symbols real quick. So what have we got? Uh, I'm going to have to open a lot of paint for this. We've got an arrow. We've got like arrow, arrow line. Oh, and I think here's our next one. So it's just an arrow, arrow. This is looking beautiful right now. I'll put a picture at the end once I've got all the symbols. Also, why can you hit marker this? Like, why is that a thing? Does anyone actually know? I'm, like, genuinely interested on why it does that. Yeah, okay. What I can do is I'll save up once to open this door and I'll quickly open everything up and it'll all be good. Okay, well, I got shopping free. So, yeah, kind of the worst time to get it. But you know what? It's fine. I'm going to let you slide game. I mean, there's not really a whole lot we can open. I pretty much opened everything I could in this area. So instead, I'm going to hit this and I'm going to get wall power. But I guess I'll take it because what I can do is I can just come down here and buy the KRM. No attachment KRM. That's actually such a sad looking gun. But yeah, let's head into beast mode. Let's grab this. Jump. Oh, okay, we messed up the jump. It's actually heartbreaking. Okay, what is the symbol? We've got arrow, arrow, line, arrow, arrow, line. Oh, actually a beauty. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to open up that door down there. Yeah, no. I kind of sucks because I'm going to have to end the round, but I mean, it's fine, I suppose. Just end the round. Probably will get perk garlic here as well. There we go. And I'll head into beast mode. And actually, what I can do is I can come up here and open up this. At least then, when I need to do the egg, obviously, I get the sword and stuff like that. They're all open now, I'm pretty sure. Other than the one down in the you know, like train station rift area. Okay, so let's do the final ritual. Okay, so there we go. So we'll just clap this Margo real quick. Oh, is he dead? Bro, what? I just destroyed him. Bro, I hadn't even spawned in yet. That is wild. I've never done that before in my life. Honestly, like, freckles and take notes, bro. You'll be like me one day, right? 14 minutes into Shadows of Evil, just starting the final ritual. Some say I'm a prodigy. For anyone, you know, who doesn't know, I am joking. I'm, like, pretty sure I got a comment about that once when I made that. I think a joke similar to that, and they were not happy. So, you know, just have to clarify that. Does anyone know how this room makes sense in the lore? Like, was this always here under Morg City or what? Like, I actually am a little bit confused. Yeah, either way, go ahead and pull up my image. Oh my god, I closed it one second. Took a lovely screenshot of it. So we've got this one, uh, that one, and then it's that one. There we go. So let me pick this up. I'll place it down right here. Might as well do it. So Mark was dead. This egg is also done. I guess we'll do this one next. All right, come on, zombies. Any second now. Actually taking the time to get over here. Oh, bro, we've got a B round. Are you joking? All right, someday, all right, we're going to fill up this statue. Okay, there we go. Literally, it took one zombie. I guess we'll do this one next. Zombies are flying in. I think we're already done with it. Yeah, we're flying through this. I'm saying that as like speedrun has already finished the Easter egg by now. Look, right, I'm happy with how fast I'm going through this. Nah, I'll do my own thing. Oh, okay, there we go. That's the whole egg done already. I'm actually happy with that. Okay, so better pick up the sword. And then I want to come back through this portal. I don't want to end the round. Because what I want to do is I want to make a start on killing all of these Margos. So I pick up the arc over them. We clap up these Margos. We took two heads off of him. So there we go. And we'll just end the round. There we go. So we'll do this one next. Oh, bro, we just destroyed him again before he even spawned. Okay, that guy's got one head left. Come on, open up. There we go. So that's two of them done already. So once again, I just want to try and end the round as fast as possible. And while I'm doing this, I want to try and hit for fear in the headlights. So there we go. And that's the end of the round. So the reason why I fear in the headlights is when it comes to that meatball round, uh, it's going to help massively, especially on one, which I always seem to struggle on. So there we go. That mag was dead. Bro, I'm getting pretty good at that now. Just taking them out before they even spawn in. Got this guy left. So there we go. And we literally just have one more. So far, not doing too bad. Just need to try and end the round as soon as possible here. Uh, I'm also going to buy this HVK. Oh yeah, I forgot I have milk quick. Well, you, you know, you got to love it when you get a phone call mid-recording. You know, they're getting blocked. But yeah, okay, cool. We ended the round. Let's just quickly head to the canals and then we can get ourselves the upgraded sword. So let's just do this. We do have meatballs coming in, which is kind of a, like an L to be honest. Oh my God, there is so many Margos. Oh
max out arc over. Very nice. So literally, all we got to do now is get ourselves the upgraded sword, uh, go interact with that book, and then we can start on the flag step. Oh, let's look at the Margwa tentacle. Let's go. Wait, I never picked up the Margwa heart. But to be fair, I wasn't really going to go for the Apocalypse Serpent anyways. It would have been nice, but I don't think we need it. If we do end up needing it, then I can just quickly build it. It's not a problem. So let's go ahead and interact with this book here. Why that causes the flag to, you know, appear down in the little train station area, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. I'm not scared. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one first because this one actually sucks. I always struggle with this one. I'll try and not use here in the headlights, but if we need to, then, you know, at least I have it. There's just so many angles from the comment. Don't take that out of context. You're weirdos. Oh, come on. There we go. We did it. So the next one is just down here. This one's super easy, so I'm not really, like, worried about this one, especially since we can activate this trap here. And that pretty much blocks us an entire, like, area they can come from. Oh, my God. Probably shouldn't have opened that up. But... Oh, bro, go away, Shadow Man. Oh, it's over. It's actually over. Bro, you little rat, bro. Oh, my God. I'm so upset. I'm what they'd call tiny bit grumpy. You know what? Whatever. It's fine. You know, we're going to go ahead. Let's try it now. I didn't think that area there would be so difficult. Usually, it's just this area here that I struggle with, but clearly, it's not. This step is just a lot harder on solo. I got to reload. Make sure I'm not running low on ammo. Come on. Just be done already. I'd really appreciate it. There we go. So, we'll go ahead and do this one. Activate the trap. Come on. I've got it. I'm not allowing any Shadow Man to take over my fly. Oh, my God. I hate it when the flies come out. Bro. Oh, we did it. Okay, let's go. There we go. Actually, it's huge. Usually, I fail in that one so many times. I don't know why. It's just so difficult. Also, we just got like two max ammos. I think the one would have done game, but you know, I appreciate the kind gesture. All right, well, let's just waste no time and just jump straight onto the next one. Uh, do I need to go around? For some reason, in my head, you could just keep doing it until you were done, but I suppose this does make more sense. A man of war? I mean, I guess I'll take over the cooler. Uh, zombie, where are you at? There he is. Okay, so is that going to bring the flag back down? Uh, I don't see it. Obviously, it's not that. There it is. It just like pops into existence. Let's go. Uh, next one, we'll do the canals. This one can be kind of tricky, but it didn't really come from two locations here, so not too worried. Obviously, I'm not going to say I'm going to big dig one tap this, but I'm just saying, all right, I'm going into this with a little bit of confidence, you know? At least this area. This area is not too bad. So there we go. So we just got this one up next. Oh my God. Okay. This area might be a little bit difficult. There is so many different spots that they're coming from. We did get the Xeno matter though. So, oh my God, this is actually getting tense. Game, please be done. Oh my God, we did it. Uh, go get the fuck out of here. All right, there we go. Nice. Get two more. The next two, like they're not difficult, but they're not easy either. So we don't want to get too cocky. We have one really easy one and one really hard one. Well, not really like hard, but you know, just like mildly difficult. The actual terminology of Renzaro, bro, all the Margos want a piece of me today. They actually want to scrap, but I'm just not in the mood. All right, I'm not in that free move for some tentacles right now. Okay, so there we go. We can also get our Margwa heart finally. All right, and the round just ended. Okay, perfect. So let's pick up this. I guess we'll do Waterfront next. We are running kind of low on ammo, which I'm not a massive fan of. So what I might need to do is I might just need to go quickly buy some ammo because at some point, it do stop giving you max ammo whenever you succeed. So yeah, I'm going to do this one real quick. It's because it is one of the harder ones. The one after this isn't too bad, like by the entrance to Waterfront. Like that one's not awful. Yeah, okay, this one isn't the greatest. Oh, there we go. And as you see, it didn't give me a max ammo. So good thing I did buy some ammo. Uh, let's go ahead and place this down real quick. What I'm going to do is when it gets a little bit hectic, I'm going to go ahead and pop the trap. Oh my God, please don't blow up the flag. I'm politely asking. Come on, come on. Wakey, wakey. It's time to go. Okay, if I can just deliver this without it breaking, it is free. Like the Easter egg, it's over pretty much. So uh, there we go. Actually too easy. So game, can I have my max ammo, please? Uh, maybe not. Uh, I guess it just doesn't feel like it. There we go. Okay, let's quickly get out of here. Oh my God, please move. Okay, one more head. So there we go. Please drop a nuke. I'd really appreciate that. Oh my god, you ask and you receive. That didn't end the round though. What? Actually, what do you mean? Who's left? Oh, there's another nuke down here. Okay. Oh, I mean, that should finish him off. That still didn't end the round. What do you mean, bro? That's two nukes. Gabe, this is outrageous. This is actually outrageous. Wait, there we go. Jesus. Okay, but yeah, it should be free from here. Literally, we've got like the easiest flag path or whatever it is. So let's just head up here. Just place it down here. So come on, game. Oh my god, it is actually kind of picking up in like chaoticness. I don't know if that's a word. I just made it a word though. There we go. And literally, oh my god, all I've got to do is just place this down here. Pop fear in the headlights because I'm not messing around. And then it should literally be free from here. Because I just cannot touch the flag. Look, come on, game. Any second now. Uh, game. Oh, there we go. All right, perfect. It's done. So I just want to point out, right? Every single time, this guy, he takes it up the bump. I don't know why he does that. I don't know why he has to take it up the bump instead of like, you know, the pee hole, but whatever. I'm not judging. Yes. Yeah, so that's all of like the keeper things done. And we're pretty much at the boss fight. So we got to take out this Margua real quick. So there we go. He's going to drop our nuke. Could give him my chance to get out of here. Okay, so all we've got to do is interact with these four keepers. Oh, I guess just the one. Okay, game, that's fine. Just don't give me any form of warning. We could literally just finish this up real quick. Uh, is that literally the boss fight done? There is there is no way that's the boss fight done. That is actually embarrassing, bro. Well, I mean, there's my little personal best. 44 minutes to complete the Shadows of Evil Easter egg. I'm happy with that. Uh, that was an embarrassing little boss fight right there. That was actually just like heartbreaking to see. But yeah, it's not over just yet. Just, you know, get the Lair S and complete the word zombies for the challenge to be, you know, over. We've got to get this cutscene. So I'm not 100% sure how it works with the solo Easter egg mod. What I do know is that I 
I need to kill this Margo here, so please open your mouth. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. So is that gonna let me go into beast mode? No, it's not. Why? Well, what do I need to do, game? Okay, kill you. Oh my god. Holy shit, bro. Why is there so many? Okay, can we go into beast mode now? We still cannot go into beast mode. Game, what is going on? Alright, what about now? I'm feeling it. Okay, yes, finally. Okay. So this is where I'm like a little bit, I'm not 100 percent sure, but okay, I need to go ahead and uh, cleanse myself real quick. Where is that? There it is. So I need to come up here, zap this, and I believe it just stays on with the solar strike mod. I don't think you need to like continuously shock it. So we've done that one. So then head over here and zap that one. And we'll do that one. Now I'm pretty sure we need to exit beast mode. And then we need to call a train and go back into beast mode and then zap these three. And then that should be the cutscene. Uh, I do need to get back my beast mode though. So we have to take care of these little stompers. Oh, can we go back into it? Oh, we can. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm going to have to play it like really smart here. Like actual giga brain. So what I need to do, I need to call the train. Hopefully not get blocked by the Margos here. Oh my God, please get out of my way. Oh, it's over. It is so over. Okay, we'll retry it. It's not even a problem. Okay, we might need to make sure we have no Margos that are like running. Might actually need to take care of those real quick. Okay, what's the best way to go about this? Um, guess we can try this one instead. Maybe? I mean, worth a shot, I guess. So let's call the train. Quickly make our way down here. Go into beast mode. Over the barricade. Okay, we're a little bit slow, but all right, I believe. Quick, 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 quick. We need to go ahead and zap these guys. So bam, bam, and then bam. Is that it? Is that the cutscene? I think it is. Please give me the cutscene game. I am actually begging. Oh my god, I think we got it. Let's go, boys. Actually, too easy. So that's it, boys. As this cutscene plays, you know, that is the end of the challenge. We've got the letter S says Rick Toffin, you know, his little pedo mustache. We've officially spelt out the word zombies. This was a really cool challenge. So, you know, shout out to William J on the Discord. Such a good idea. The second I saw it, I was like, yeah, this is actually genius. So, you know, again, shout out to him. If you have a channel that you want me to like advertise, or like I'm, I'll say advertise, I mean like shout out, and let me know and I'll pin it in the comments section and I'll put it in the description. So, yeah, that is going to be it for the video. Do hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry there was a big gap between this video and the last video. Honestly, my PC issues just were never ending. Look, right, we're back in business. So, yeah, you know, like the video, you know, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And, yeah, you know, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.